Hello and welcome to Baza Golf. Today we've got a new golf course at Nuba. And as you can tell, I'm doing a voiceover because it was so windy, you wouldn't have heard anything. Um, anyhow, so we just teed off on the first here. The wind is about 30 miles an hour. No kidding. That was a hybrid and it went maybe 90 yards and straight left across the fairway uh, and ended up on the cart path here. So we've got a pitching wedge in hand on this opening hole and the ball ballooned up in the air and went about 30 yards to the right. Uh, we just managed to hang on to the green here. i got to say these greens are exceptional. It's January and they are rolling so true. I cannot wait to come back here again and play them in the summer. This putt then for bogey. I barely touched that and the wind got hold of it. So we're in for a double. And that was a six. <laughs> Hole number two then, 224 yards. So I'm actually pointing out that I've got a nine iron in my hand here. I just, <laughs> I wanted to try it for a laugh and see how it went. Um, we managed to put it right in the middle of the green. Um, that's how strong the wind is. That didn't deserve to get that far. So we got a 25 foot putt here for birdie and it's upwind a little misread there but the the greens are rolling pretty true and we make our first par of the day Third hole is a par five. They got these interesting little bothies on the side of the course here. They 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 look pretty cool, uh, and unfortunately, while looking at the bothies, we missed the tee shot. So this is the second shot, the approach shot in three wood in hand, and I managed to pull this one left. The camera didn't quite pick it up. It's off on the left hand side there, about uh, twenty five yards away from the front edge of the green, and this was supposed to be a pretty straightforward chip shot. Uh, but I managed to scull it and it went straight across the green. So we're there for three. Nice little putt, but again, the wind got hold of it. There was nowhere near that much break. It was just being pushed down by the wind. So this putt then for par. And we managed to sink it. So really happy with that. Back to back pars. That's my Titanic bit in the wind. Hole four, 354 yards. This is a really interesting hole. It was downwind um, and there's some interesting features we'll walk past in a minute. But I managed just to, I, I just thought I'll hit this up in the air and let the wind do the rest. And the wife was right. It's actually on the green. Look at this old building here. It's really cool, right in the middle of the course. There's some really nice features here, actually. Oh, look at him. He's so proud of himself. Really long putt then for Eagle. It's uphill all the way and the wind just took it and it kept going and going and going and uh, now we have a par putt oh sorry a birdie putt <laughs> and again nowhere near and we walked away from that one with a par so this is a par 3 201 yards or thereabout it's probably paying about 190 today straight into the wind I've taken a, a six iron like an idiot off the tee uh, and managed to get about 110 yards out of it. Um, that wind is so strong. Pitching wedge again here, and this ball just looped up in the air to the right. The sheep weren't very impressed. So that was the uh, birdie putt, left it 12 feet short of the hole. This is for par. And again, putts are working pretty well. We managed to save that par there. Hole number six then, 265 yards. Uh, it's downwind again, 
and I took a really, really easy three with it this because I thought if I took my driver, it's going to overshoot the green. And yeah, it was really windy. So just short of the green, aiming a little bit left here. Took a really decent bounce and then just started rolling and rolling and rolling. Managed to come to a stop on the green. And there's really no breaking that. That was all wind blowing that ball from uh, right to left there. And here's me trying to work out how many shots I've had. Yes, Baza, that's for par. Good job. Nearly missed it. Hole 7, 382. Uh, down wind again. Again, three wood in hand. Just feeling like um, I didn't want to miss this left or right. Wanted to make sure that I got somewhere close to the fairway. I did miss the fairway, ended up with this ball uh, right below my feet. This is a pitching wedge, just a little chip really, bump and run. It took a really nice bounce and there's no way this ball deserved to end up where it ended up, right on the front edge of the green. Put them for birdie again. And I thought this was tracking. Ugh. So close, but the wind again, pushing it on. These these greens are, are are really really good though. I've got to say I'm very impressed with the greens. Credit to the green keepers. Missed that par putt, uh, so we ended up with a bogey on this hole. The wind honestly didn't let up for a second while we were out there. On number eight. 318 yards back into the wind. I hit this left as the experience with the irons earlier on. And yep, so it did about a 30 yard left to right movement in the air. Ended up on the right hand side of the fairway. This is a three iron, believe it or not, to the green. Uh, I did make pretty good contact, but it just ballooned straight up into the air. Uh, and again, only went about 100 yards or so. So we're short of the green, balls above my feet, pitching wedge. Just chipped it through um, and left of the flag there. Got quite a long putt now. Actually a pretty decent result from that. Look at the wind get hold of the ball. Overall pretty happy with that. Hole number nine then, second par five of the day, 509 yards. And oh boy, did I make contact with this ball. And it just hung in the air forever. Managed to get it over the, the little ridge there at about 300 yards and it bounced forward down the car path. It must have done. Uh, we ended up about, the measure was 352 yards on that drive. I got 151 left to the flag. Uh, pitching wedge in hand. As you can see, I didn't put everything into that, um, and we ended up a little bit short and right of the green here. That clubhouse in the background there, absolutely stunning. We'll have a closer look at that later on in the video. So about 35 yards from the green here. It was actually on the winter green, um, so I moved it off, took a drop there, but played a really, really good chip there. This for birdie. And the wind just <laughs> took that uh, straight away from the hole. Uh, but we end up with a par. Really impressed with Nuba. It certainly gets the thumbs up from me. Clubhouse, uh, amazing. Course, brilliant. Greens, great. Um, facilities are being worked on by the new owners as we speak. Um, overall, looks great. Um, I want to get out and play it again. If you want to join me and have a round at Nuba. Drop me a line, leave a comment. I'll leave links to their socials in the description below. So please give them a subscribe. And if you're in the Aberdeen area, give Newburgh a chance. See you next time on Big Golf Tours. Don't forget to like and subscribe.